I'm Ali. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Lola is Living for Africa. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Lola is Living for Africa. Lola is sick and tired of having brothers. Three mean, horrible, stinky brothers. I've had enough, she cries. I'm leaving. She takes the S essentials her cat her tea set and her best drawing lola is going far away very far away the farthest away she can get from those horrible horrible tire plants mama says lola i'm going to africa wonderful seeing their mom with Mother, while practicing her role of the opera, just don't get a cold. Papa, says Lola, I'm going to Africa. Marvelous, my little brushel sprout, replies her father, busy creating a new mustache. Just don't come home too late. Mama, says Lola, I'm going to Africa. Wonderful, sings her mom with practicing her role with the opera. Just don't get a cold. Fine, Lola exclaims. Nobody cares about me. I'm never coming back. Mademoiselle, Gilbert asks. Gilbert is the family chopper. He drives Lola's mo mother to the opera. What are you doing up in that tree? This is not a tree, says Lola. This is Africa. Really? I thought Africa was this way. Are you sure? Asks Lola. Yes, we well, know. We would have, have to look on a map. Do you have one? I think I might, says Gilbert. <clears throat> this is an old map, Bob. Africa should be in the same place. You see, here it is, Africa. Thank you, Gilbert. So long, but Mademoiselle Lola, first you have to take a ship or else you'll never go to Africa. Never, never. Okay, then I'll take a ship, says Lola. Good. Do you have a ticket? No, but I have my best drawing. Will that do? It will do just fine declares Gilbert. What where's where is that ship? asks Lola. Right here, replies Gilbert. All aboard. I hope you you don't get seasick. Mademoiselle, may I ask why Africa? Because Lola explains Africa is far away. Very far away, the farthest away I can get for my mean horrible sticky brothers. Plus there are Scared of snakes, and if they come, piranhas will eat them. Well then, says Gilbert, I think Africa is the best destination. Gilbert, are we there yet? Not yet. Now we have to cross the jungle. Don't look up now, mademoiselle. There is an enormous snake, snake in that tree. Let's pretend we don't see him. So where is Africa? asks Lola. Maybe it is this way, suggests Gilbert. Or maybe that way. Gilbert, I think we are lost. You may be right. What should we do? Look, Gilbert, a giraffe. Let's ask her the way. Good idea, mademoiselle. Except I don't know how to speak giraffe. Oh, but my cat does, exclaims Lola. Gilbert, I didn't know Africa was this far. I'm hungry. Mademoiselle, look, what luck, here's a restaurant. Which would you prefer, ostrich egg souffle or a grasshopper sandwich? Both, cries Lola. Gilbert, we're not so far from Africa now. I see some chimpanzees. Gilbert nods. True, we must simply cross the desert. Then take a plane and go for a short camel. Camel white. Mademoiselle Lola, look, Africa. It's just a boat right away. Another boat? asked Lola. Yes, but a very comfortable but a very comfortable boat. The Queen Elizabeth too. Mademoiselle, please don't put your hands in the water. Piranhas. Here we are, Mademoiselle, in Africa. Now I feel free, says Lola. The long trip has made me thirsty. Mademoiselle, would you like to have some tea? Yes, I would you have some tea? Yes, I do, I do. 
They say that the nicest sunsets are in Africa, says Gilbert. It is so quiet, murmurs Lola. Gilbert, yes, Mademoiselle. Do you think piranhas like to meet? Like to eat mean, horrible, stinky brothers? I don't know, Mademoiselle Lola. Wouldn't they be a little hard to digest? I suppose to, so, Gilbert. Yes, Mademoiselle. I'm tired. Lola sighs. Oh yes, of course, Mademoiselle. I'll take you home. It is not so far away, whispers Gilbert. Okay, and this is the end of the story. Okay, and thank you for listening to my story. Okay, bye.